let's talk and what has to be the most face palm dumbest exclusive I've ever seen in the video game industry there might be something worse out there but this one just takes the cake of me like what were they thinking now a lot of you guys might have actually heard of this game it's called Arizona Sunshine it's one of those premier VR title it's one of the ones that got shown up very early and it was coming to ACC Vive and it actually looks pretty good in fact the game's been getting fairly good reviews I'm like god damn I need to play this one but I need to beat my back catalog challenge first which I'm doing pretty good on but here we are with this game coming out reviews came out but there was no words on this issue what the issue I'm talking about well the fact that if you have an i7 processor you get access to certain modes in the game like the single player horde mode and another mode exclusively until March 2017 so it's not locked because it's the headset like the vibe the rift it's not locked because it's a console or pc it's locked based on the processor you have in your computer because the developers made a deal with intel like literally the processor that runs your computer is what's making you not be able to access content in the game you already bought and own that has to be one of the dumbest freaking exclusive things I've ever seen. It was so bad for the developer, it didn't even take less than like freaking two days before people just started riding on the internet. And I gotta give a big shout out to the Reddit community, the people who found this out. Because like I said, this is one time where the reviewers didn't get it right. The reviewers praised the game, but they didn't know the situation. This is why I tell you guys, wait till after reviews come out to freaking purchase games if you can if you're not sure i wanted this game i really wanted this game i saw the pre-order up there i saw the stuff about early access and all this shit, but i held out i'm not gonna give them my money but the game came out the reviews came out i was like okay i might pick this up but i didn't pick it up yet once again i'm on my challenge but no but i'm still not gonna pick it up yet and I'm glad I waited because until this information came out, I would have bought this game, figured that I would have had access to every single modes, and I don't got access. I would have been pissed off. This could have happened with AMD. This could have happened with anybody. But the fact that even specifically Intel and the developer thought this was a good thing to do is just mind-boggling. You need to have a CPU to play the game in your computer. It's just a component, just like a graphics card is a component, just like your RAM is a component. What if next you need to have a special brand of RAM to run a specific level in Call of Duty? You get what I'm trying to say here? That's just dumb. That's like real. And the worst part of it is the most expensive type of consumer level processor, the i7. How many people out there use this i7 for gaming? You can use the i5, it works just as great. You don't need an i5 to even run i7 to run VR titles. What were they thinking? This is the dumbest thing I've seen. And this needs to stop and go away right now. There should never be another example of this. I do not want to start hearing about that you need to have some type of special RAM. You need to have a specific CPU cooler. You need to have a specific monitor to play specific games. Could you imagine like, oh, your game only works with uh, a freaking... <laughs> Asus monitors, but they won't work with Lenovo's. They won't work with freaking Samsung's. Dumb, stupid. I've talked about exclusives before. Even though the exclusivity, I made a video last week about cross-platform play on VR, and I said the future needs to be VR titles. You get to play them everywhere. This is like the complete opposite of that. Games should be able to play on the Rift, Survive, wherever, across platform. Shit, the game shouldn't even be exclusive on VR headsets on the PC because it's just a PC. There are built of components put together. It shouldn't matter if you have an i7, an i3 AMD processor. If your processor could run the game, let the players play the game. Dumb, 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 dumb. Dumbest thing. And I know some of you guys might not understand as my younger audience because you're not into the VR thing like I am. But this is really stupid and this can't happen again. This is really bad. Like, there can never be a situation, like I said already, where you need to have a specific freaking RAM type processor type to play a game not for specific levels or anything like that if you have that processor that gives you more power for your game that's fine <sighs> i could go on this for hours i just think this was just so stupid i'll leave the article in the description from reddit because they cover it so well i just i was just like facepalming i was like 